this is our last show before Sunday, before Selection Sunday. Chris, I want you to tell me who is going to be your top four on Sunday when they announce it at uh, about 11 a.m. Central Time. Oh, I'm just going to go real quick. I'm going to say Georgia, Michigan, Cincinnati, Oklahoma State. That's exactly who I've got written down. I've got Is Cincy. It really? Yes, I've got Cincy in the four spot. I've got Oklahoma State in the three spot because I think Oklahoma State will jump them because it doesn't matter how bad you beat Houston. A win over Baylor is going to look better at least to the committee, in my opinion. So you'll get a Michigan-Oklahoma State matchup. You'll get a Georgia-Cincy rematch from last year's Peach Bowl. That's the way that I, I view this thing going down this weekend. I so don't... let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Baylor beats uh, Oklahoma State, but all the rest of those things go the way we think they'll go. Who, who gets the four spot? Uh, I think Notre Dame gets the four spot. You do? Yeah. You Do you think that the committee – will punish them for not having their head coach. No. I think part of the reason why Notre Dame hired uh, or is hiring Marcus Freeman is because they want, you know, they want all the hoopla that goes into it if they were to get in. I only think it's that one thing that has to go wrong in order to get Notre Dame in there, right? Yeah. I mean, that's you, you need Alabama to get whipped and then everybody else – Everything else holds I don't think firm. Alabama needs to get whipped. I think Alabama just needs to lose. I, I agree with you. I, I tend to believe it will be a whipping. But uh, but either way, I, I do believe that Notre Dame is not going to be it, – it's not going to be held against them that Brian Kelly is not there. I think there's a yeah. lot to like about the program right now. And if you're keeping the entire coaching staff intact, I – I mean, I, I agree with all those things, but you know how I feel about the sons of bitches that run this sport. <laughs> you're You're not wrong. You are not wrong. If Baylor beats Oklahoma State, certainly that would be. I think Notre because Dame that's would get the in. One, that's the one upset that I actually think might happen. That's the one upset that I would bet on happening. I I said on so I took Oklahoma State minus five and a half on the Bet US show. I just don't know how they do it with a starting quarterback for Baylor that has had hamstring injuries and was actually out last week. Right, like this is. I I just don't see it happening against that Jim Knowles defense. But figure that stuff out. Yeah, crazy, crazy stuff happens. So we we will see about that. Uh, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.